Good evening, everybody. Happy Monday to everyone out there. Welcome to the Chain Movers Podcast. As usual, I'm Chad. With me is my co-host, Reed. How's it going, Reed? Good. How's the weekend? What did you get up to? I was working this weekend, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of sucks. It has to be done at my age, however. That's true, it does. The guy's got to have a little jingle in his jeans, you know? He does. My, uh, my weekend, well, I got a haircut. So I did that and uh, bought a 22 today because there's muskrats running around here all over the goddamn place. So I went and got a 22 and I'm going to cut down the muskrat population. That's nothing the, more annoying than a muskrat, right? Oh, they're the worst. <laughs> they are. And they're running around on my patio out here. Seen one last night. I already killed one midsummer and now there's another one. So, they make their way into town sometimes too. Yeah, yeah, they'll get into your backyard and cause all kinds of havoc. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, that's kind of what was exciting for me. Um, and then uh, I watched a bunch of football on the weekend, and it was fantastic. So we got lots to get to today. I don't want to uh, waste any time, actually. So let's get right into it. Uh, first thing I, I do want to cover off though is, is the bat. Um, the bet we made on uh, Wednesday. I lost it in very convincing fashion. You did, it? yeah. I swept you three. Swept me three nothing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we agreed that Wednesday could be the hat episode. Yeah. To to make good on that bet. Yep. Yeah. We'll do it sometime. <laughs> Wednesday. It'll be Wednesday. So uh, yeah, I uh, I reign supreme three zero. Those games were the uh, Giants. Washington football team, the Jags, Broncos, and the Steelers and Raiders. So, yeah, I guess I know how to pick them. How'd you do in your pick them? Who'd you take? I took Buffalo. I took Buffalo this week. That's, that was a good choice. That was and a good they, choice. They were victorious, so I am, yeah, the survive, survival pool is going my way this Reed's, year. Reed's still alive in the survivor pool. I like it. I well, think there's 42,000 of us left. On nice. the Yahoo one? Yeah. That's still lots of people. Yeah. So but still, we'll see what happens. You live to fight another week. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. So let's start there. Bills, Dolphins, uh, 35 nothing, a convincing win. Um, I, I had a feeling that last week uh, the Bills lost. There was just going to be a blip on the radar, and it, it sure looked like it was. They, uh, they looked pretty good, and Josh Allen, <clears throat> again, looking uh, – in earning his form. earning his money so far. Yeah, yeah, that is a big contract. So, uh, not a lot to talk about in that one. Bills defense was dominant, um, but uh, granted, the Dolphins did lose Tua in that game. Tua Tagovailoa, uh, rib injury, left that game. Uh, no word on how long he'll be out yet. But uh, I mean, I I didn't really like the Dolphins' chances all that much with him. No. Without him, it's going to be even worse. So. Um, <clears throat> Let's uh, let's slide over to Pat's Jets. Um, we talked about this one Wednesday, um, and how you know young quarterbacks don't fare well against the Bill Belichick defense, and and Zach Wilson was no exception. Uh, at one point in time, he had as many interceptions as he did completions. He threw uh, four picks in this one, and and it wasn't very nice. Um, Pat's easily taken that one, twenty-five to six. Um, Mac Jones threw for a buck 86, no touchdowns, no picks. Um, Bill's not giving him a very long leash from the looks of it. No, I don't really know how much to, how much to read into the Patriots this year. I don't know what their, what their game plan is or what they expect to do. But once again, you don't, you don't play football and try to lose. So I, no. I'm thinking they'll give Mac the, the reins and see where he takes them. But yeah. I don't know. Another battle of rookie quarterbacks. Zach Wilson, Mark Jones, both rookies. Don't know what to expect, but yeah, a lot of interceptions, which is to be expected. <laughs> yeah, um, even minus Stephon Gilmore, that that Pat's defense just just dominated the Jets all day, and and I mean the Jets are the Jets. They uh, they're yeah. just never very good, and I mean, well, sad part is their best days have recently. And they had Mark Sanchez at quarterback. That's how good that defense used to be. But uh, those days are long gone. So Yeah, I was expecting a better game. Usually Pats and Jets is a 
they put on a good show, but uh, to this week, not was, so much. It was a bit of a snooze fest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rams Colts. This one was a lot better than I expected it would be. Uh, Rams pulled this one out 27-24. Um, the Colts did lose Carson Wentz in this game, which, I mean, is no surprise. I, I think he's made a glass at this point. I, I believe it's an I think they put that in the game plan. Yeah, lose him. <laughs> okay, we're probably going to lose Carson in the second yeah. quarter. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this guy, it's you feel for him, right? I mean, he just yeah. cannot stay healthy. And uh, no word on when he'll be back either. I was uh, checking the injury reports just before we got started. And and no, no I, word. So I, expect, I thought the Colts were going to win this game, actually, because, I don't know, having Wentz back and... They're, they have good running backs. They have three mm-hmm. three above average running backs, I think, and receivers. I think will let them down in the end. Yeah, they don't have. I think Ty is hurt for a little bit. He hasn't been playing yet. Past Piven years. played well. Yeah. He was one of my busts, but he played well. Yeah, but no, I thought they would because the game was in it was in Indy. Mm-hmm. Indy was home, so they I were. thought I thought the Colts would come to play. I thought they'd win, but Matt Stafford just won't let that happen. No. And uh, Reed slid that in there that Pittman was one of his busts, but he did in fact beat me in fantasy this weekend. So uh, I started Joe Burrow, who had a tough day in his own right. Um, two garbage time touchdowns to salvage what was a negative point day in fantasy. He he managed to walk away with fourteen, but still not overly impressive. Um, but again, and Cooper Cup, you called this one last week. You said uh, you boomed Cooper in the. Uh, in the boomer bus section and he paid dividends he was over 100 yards again with two touchdowns and uh i took robert woods in that one but he he was okay but he was nowhere near cooper cup um coupled with the they ran the ball well too yeah henderson had a decent day yeah so when you when you're firing on all cylinders like that probably gonna win yeah and they did and, and they, they did. did yeah uh raider steelers um, this this was a heck of a game. Um, of course, I tuned in being a Raiders fan um, <clears throat> and having our, our bets on the line. But 26-17, um, is that what it finished? I believe so, yeah. 26-17, the Raiders pulled it out. Uh, Derek Carr, um, the hero again. Um, he was over 400 yards again. <sighs> he keeps us up, I mean... He is an MVP candidate at the moment. Yeah, right? he is he in the conversation? I'd like to think he is. Yeah. Um, two Get and him without start. Josh, without his starting running back too. Exactly. He was out. We talked about his injury problems last week, and and he was ruled out actually on Friday, I believe. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, tough. St- like that's a tough schedule for the Raiders to start with, with the Ravens and the Steelers, and, and they managed to pull them both out. Yeah. Um, I mean, they lead the AFC West right now, right? Mm-hmm. So they're a game, game up on the Chiefs. So we'll see how long that lasts. Um, but for right now, I'm going to bask in the glory of, of Raiders football. And, and they look good. They look damn good. They're playing stellar. They look good. So it doesn't hurt my feelings. I don't mind the Raiders. But you like the Steelers. I like the Steelers more, but. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks his life. Uh, let's move over to the Saints-Panthers, which. I got to think was probably the surprise of the week, um, Perhaps, yeah. especially with the Saints coming off throttling Green Bay, 38-3. Um, Jameis, 11-22, 111 yards, two picks. This is a Jameis we all know. Um, I think that's going to be more the story of the season for Jameis um, going forward. Where, where, do, where does he stand with you right now? I don't know. It's tough because he didn't. I don't think he played at all last year, did he? No, he sat out. Oh, so season. it's really tough to. But I don't know. That might end up being good for him. Taking the air off and getting to recharge a little bit, see what happens. But I think Carolina is going to be better than anybody buddy thinks they're going to be. I they have McCaffrey back. I think he's pretty much at full health. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I don't know. Sam Darnold wants to prove himself. Change of scenery is maybe just yeah. what he needed, right? Yeah, and, and their receivers are nothing wrong with their receivers. They DJ got a, Moore, Robbie Anderson. They got a couple guys. Yeah. So that D line defense is, is always 
Carolina defense is always was always good. Unreal. I mean, they were all over Jameis. Mm-hmm. I think they had four or five sacks in that game. I mean, they they're looking good. Um, a lot of people kind of raise some eyebrows with their first round pick of J.C. Horn at, at cornerback, but kid had his first pick this weekend. He looks good. Um, hey, yeah, they're top of the division. So, yeah. well, tied with Tampa, but um, still too early to to gather any real evidence or gather any real solid clues. So yeah, we'll see. I think week six, week seven, I think we'll know a little bit. We'll know. Yeah, we'll know. because obviously they didn't face the same Saints team that played the Packers a week before. So, yeah. um, but good on them. Good on the Panthers. Um, I mean, I, I like them. Uh, sticking with that game, though, Alvin Kamara, five yards on eight carries in that game. Um, if if you're not only a fantasy owner, but, you know, the Saints in general, you worried about Kamara? <laughs> Obviously, are if you're a fan. I don't know. It's it's tough. Alvin's always had Drew Brees as a quarterback, which I'm sure has helped him a little bit. But Drew Brees doesn't tell him how to run, so I think yeah, it's just a blip in the road. I don't know how he only gets five carries, but they've always used him out of the backfield as a receiving option. So yes, I don't know. I don't think Jameis threw the ball overly much today. I think he had 22 passes or something. Dropped back 22 times, yeah. Completed so 11. They just didn't have the ball. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure how many turnovers they had. They must have had some turnovers. But, For, yeah. But I don't know. Alvin can't can't score two or three touchdowns every game. Just not going to happen. But, but, yeah, that's a very surprising stat line. For a guy that's considered a, a top three RB in yeah. the league. Um, he's been awfully quiet to start this season. Then. And that's, that's got to be a little bit concerning um, for the Saints. But we'll see if they can pull it together. I mean, Sean Payton, I, I'm kind of neutral on him. I, I don't love him. I don't hate him. But I do believe he is a decent coach. And I, I think they'll get it on track here. But I don't know if Jameis can lead them like Drew could. Um, yeah. Well, obviously, Drew Brees is, is, a, is a rare example. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm not a Jameis believer. And... Do something. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They they need to figure it out. I mean, last week everybody was was hailing how great the Saints look, which they did. Um, but I Green Bay tonight. I mean, Monday nighter here. They're playing Detroit, and Detroit was beating them at half. So Green Bay's got some defensive woes that that they need to figure out. But uh, yeah, regardless, um, I don't think Jameis is the answer for the saints so yeah we'll we'll see we will um cardinals took this one 34 33 um and how do the vikings lose last minute field goal these guys can just not find a kicker the the miss (laughs) kicks are i mean it goes back to the blair walsh days right and goes back very far, yeah. And I mean, when they had Seattle on the ropes in that NFC Championship game, they went in was thirty-five below, and they were playing outdoors because the Superdome or whatever, whatever is in Minnesota, there collapsed from all the snow, and <clears throat> it was a ten-nine game, and it was a twenty-seven-yard field goal, and he shanked it left. Um, so that's going back a few years now. Um, teams cursed, or, or what's the story? I mean, what do they do? I don't know. Does it give you do automatically point the quarterback, don't you? I'd say Kirk carried him that far, though. He had three yeah. touchdowns, no picks, 280 yards, something like yeah. that. Delvin Cook rushed for a buck 33. I don't think this is the old Vikings defense. I think Minnesota always had a defense you could put in fantasy comfortably yeah. every week in the past. I don't think it's like that anymore. Yeah. So that's probably what it is. But Well, they paid Kirk and they paid Delvin and... You know, Thielen's still there and what his contract is like, but yeah, I mean, and they paid, uh, they did pay, uh, who's they got some rookies, they got some rookies on the deep. Who's their safety in Minnesota? Harrison, Harrison Smith, Harrison Smith, yeah, uh, 
Yeah. He, uh, they paid they him. him. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I think the, uh, the Vikes have had a couple hard luck weeks here. Um, I don't think they should have lost either game, but such is life. Um, everybody was, uh, salivating over Kyler Murray's performance. He threw four touchdowns, 400 yards, um, on a couple blown coverage plays, but regardless, he, he still did it. Um, you know, we touched on, on Kyler in, in week one. Um, I'm, I'm still not a believer. Everyone can jump on the Kyler train, but I'm not there. Um, where are you at with him? What do you think? I don't know with him. I, th- I put him and Lamar in the same category, kind of. They're more running QBs. They're more more of runners than throwers, I yeah. think, which is kind of how the league is going. But I don't know. I haven't, after watching Lamar yesterday, I think he's got a spot in the league for a while. Yeah, yeah as long <laughs> as he can stay healthy, right? So it's, I don't know. I just, I've never liked them running quarterback, but I think I just got to face the fact that it's here to stay. Yeah, I mean, there's been a few of them, and it, I arguably it started with Mike Vick, right? Um, but you can only play that way for so long. And, I mean, who knows how long Vick could have played if, if he didn't have his, his jail stint in there. But um, let, let's even go back to Cam Newton. Coming mm-hmm. out of Auburn, he, he was that guy, right? He was, and, yeah. And he played, I don't know, what, he won his MVP in his fifth year? He went to the Super Bowl once, I think. That was as far as they they must have made the playoffs a couple other times. Yeah, but. yeah, but he won his MVP I think yeah, fifth or sixth season, and then his body started to break down. He, yeah. he took too many hits, right? And, yeah. and that's what happens in the league. And he yes, he I remember him. He yeah, he took some nasty some shots. nasty shots. <laughs> but, but but I think he I think guys aren't afraid to hit him. No, no. He's, For some reason, I'm not too sure why. He was 6'6", 260, and guys would take full runs at him, and, and he yeah. took the took the brunt of it. But uh, He definitely could have played a little. Well, I don't know who did he have. He did, I'm trying to think of their teams when he was Steve there. Steve Smith. Steve Smith was there. Greg Olson. Yeah, he had some weapons. I don't even know who their the Super running Bowl. backs were. But. No, I don't know either. Well, they went 15-1 and one that season. Like, they were... Unreal. They lost to Peyton that year, right? Yeah, they got blown out. Well, yeah, not blown out, I guess. But Cam didn't fall in the fumble, and that was yep. a big thing. But Kyler's a little bit smaller than Cam, too, so he can't do that. He's not going to be, gonna be able to do that as long. I was just going to say, this guy's like 5'10", and yep. he might weigh 200 pounds. I don't know. But um, I don't know. I'm not a believer yet. I mean, the the cards are 2-0. and oh. I don't think they should be. Um I, I, I think reality is going to set in. Teams figure that stuff out, right? So, um, poor Vikings, zero and two, such is life. I think they'll, I think they'll get it together. They'll win here. The Vikings, yeah. I mean, they look good. Yep. It was, it was a couple last second plays that, you know, that, that's the NFL, right? Yep. Every game should be that tight or, or around that tight. But, uh, moving over to a game that wasn't so tight, uh, Bucks Falcons. Tom Brady, the ageless wonder, five touchdowns. And, and how do I know this one especially stings? Because Reed has him on his fantasy team. And, and uh, he's, he's been, uh, I don't think I've taken out of my lineup in about a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and it's paid off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this guy, what do you say about Tom? He, he is clearly the, the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. Mm-hmm. Um Five touchdowns, zero picks. Two went to Gronk. Two went to Evans, and one went to, to Godwin. Godwin, yeah. Um, Tampa, I'm still on the train. Um, they're looking good coming to the NFC, and uh, yeah, I like them. They're, there's not a lot to say there. The Falcons are terrible again. Um, I think the score was 40-26 in this one, 27. Yeah, I thought we were in for a game. I thought we were in for a a better game. Well, I. Th- yeah, I thought I thought actually thought Atlanta was going to win this one for some reason. Wow, everybody think well. I don't know. Hey, Tampa's obviously going to have a great record, but they're going to lose some game along the way. Oh, everybody absolutely. does. But I thought I thought Atlanta would. I don't know. Atlanta's. I don't know what to think of Atlanta. 
I think they're garbage. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> to Todd Gurley even playing? No, no, I don't no. think so. I don't know what Gurley's doing. Um, the only even... time I would bet on the Falcons is when they're playing the Jets, and I wouldn't even feel because they don't even think not. they ran for fifty yards as a team yesterday. No, they don't run the ball. No, Matt Ryan drops back forty-five times a game, even when they're winning. So, um, yeah, I don't think Ridley. I think he caught touchdown, but I don't think he went for. He didn't pull. go off. No. no, he didn't go off. No. Gage, I don't think. Who are, who are the other guys? Gage? Jeez, that's... Can't remember. Pitts. Pitts. Pitts had an okay day. He was starting to get yeah. some targets, right? I think they only threw to three, get three or four guys yesterday. I was looking at the stats. Would Pitts have seven receptions for 80 yards or something? I get five for 73 okay. yards. So that's not bad. Yeah. They're starting to get him involved, right? But I don't think that they were way out. The time of possession was so far in Tampa's yeah. favor that... The numbers, yeah, it doesn't. It makes sense why they barely had the ball, so they're not gonna. And the Bucks had two pick sixes in that game by the yep. same guy, so um, Edwards, Mike, Mike Edwards, maybe is his first Mike. I don't I know. Can't remember. D- dude had two pick sixes. Um, that's a pretty good day. So, um, TB twelve, he's the goat. What else can you say? Um, I don't know what did what what the defenses do to stop him. I don't know. I mean, the guy's been around so long that, and last year getting like pressure on him within a second and a half, he's going to read his routes. He's going to, you know, and he'll check down. He'll throw it away. He'll, he, yeah. he's, he looks like Aaron Rodgers did last season when he won the MVP, right? Um, I think you just tell your defenses to go man to man. Yeah, it's tough running man against guys like Evans and Godwin and Gronk. And, and if you're running man, you're putting a linebacker on Gronk. Which is you almost have to right? tough to do, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the play is, but and their defense looks decent still, right? So, um, yeah, we're gonna see the Bucks in a lot of primetime games. I have a feeling they're <laughs> they're gonna get flexed in, or if they're not already slotted in to play in those primetime games, um, yeah, they look unreal. unreal. I think you gotta. I think they gotta start. I don't know what they were doing, but. I don't know if he can play zone. There's just too much talent there. Yeah, Tom will pick you apart. Yeah, right? I think you got to trust your guys to play one-on-one. And blitz, yeah. No. Yep. Yeah, you might not have any other choice. Otherwise, you're just going to get roasted. So, uh, I just want to touch on this Cowboys-Chargers game. Everybody's all excited that the Cowboys won. And, oh, the Cowboys look so good. And, you know, I just I get sick of everybody riding the Cowboys nuts all the time. So... I mean, it's they won by a last fifty-six yard field goal by Zerline to to eke out a win against the Chargers. Now the Chargers aren't a bad team, but they're not winning their division. They're not, I they're not contenders yet. Um, I don't know what's what's with the love with the Cowboys with everybody. I don't know. I think I don't know. The Cowboys just have that way about them that either you want to hate them but you just can't for some reason oh i can <laughs> and i do uh, yeah i i used to know I, I don't know why i it's i don't know I'm like I'm getting older i'm changing my philosophies a bit but i don't know i think i don't know i think everybody respects the talent they do have some talent they do yeah and they should be good but i don't know they're i think their defense played above average this week and that's probably why they won to only give up 17 is is rare for them right yeah so that did nothing special to their lucky pollard ran like he did yeah and that's all they needed today but if they keep it won't be the formula going forward that's for sure no. Dak's gonna have to but it's weird Dak will th- throw for four or five touchdowns and they'll lose every single game yeah so maybe they should just run it. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they signed Zeke to that big contract. Yeah. And, but, I mean, Pollard, I think everybody's kind of known for the past three, two, three years that this guy can play. But mm-hmm. as soon as they sign Zeke, of course he's going to take a back seat to, yeah. uh, to Zeke. But, um, I mean, I'm surprised he hasn't requested a trade just to get carried somewhere else, right? Because he could easily be the lead back. I think in in uh, on any other team, um, 
then boy, if anyone needs running back help, it's the 49ers right now. They lost three running backs on Sunday. Um, so I, <laughs> I don't know who's going to run the ball for them. Um, they, and they uh, still won. And they still beat still the Eagles. Won. Yeah, 17-11, which is a weird score. But, yeah, regardless, um, wow, they, uh, they need some running back help, and they need it now. So, um, yeah, enough of that Cowboys-Chargers game. Um, let's, let's move over to the crown jewel that was the Sunday nighter, the Chiefs-Ravens, which yep. it'll go down again as an instant classic. Um, two high-powered quarterbacks, of course, with Lamar Jackson and and Mahomes. Um, your thoughts, right out of the gate. I don't know. I was thinking about picking the Chiefs for Survivor this week. I was like, oh, the Chiefs gotta win. But then I started thinking about it more, and I was like, they go to Baltimore. Lamar's at home. I know they don't have any running backs, but. Marquise Brown's really good. Mark Andrews is really good. They got some talent on the offensive side, and I'm not too sure what the Chiefs are going to do to stop Lamar. I thought he was going to have a good game, and yeah, he had a good game. He certainly did. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the Chiefs aren't going to win every single game, obviously, but no, Baltimore is not the easiest place to go to. I don't think. No, and I mean Lamar obviously hungry. They've, you know, the Chiefs have been his Achilles heel, I guess if you want to call it that. For since he's got into the league, um, they they just cannot beat the Chiefs, and and uh, lo and behold, they they pulled her out. And I I really liked when Harbaugh asked him if he wanted to go for it on fourth, and and he said absolutely, and and uh, he picked up enough yardage to to assess to close out the game. Um, yeah, I mean, Tyreek Hill was quiet this game. Didn't do much of anything. Uh, Miko Hardman had a nice day. Kelsey had a nice day again. Your, your usuals, right? Um, but just the way they won, though. Was crazy. It's 35-24 with four or five minutes left. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It says a lot about the team. It does. Especially early, early in the year when you win a game like that. Yeah. I think that lifts the spirits a little bit yeah i i look for the uh the ravens to keep that going yeah. um yeah i don't know who they play next week we'll get into that probably wednesday but uh they'll probably lay a good throttling on them if who do they play this week i don't know i don't know either i don't know we'll have to look but uh password protected yeah, it doesn't matter they, yeah. after they beat the chiefs <laughs> They're going to be Rivers, someone's in trouble. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, <clears throat> let's slide over to uh, injuries. So notable injuries this week. We had Lan Jarvis Landry left that game. Um, Carson Wentz, of course. I think both his ankles are toast. Um, Tua, rib injury. Uh, TJ Watt left that game with a groin injury. He left in the first half and never came back which that could have been a different game with him in there. Um, Andy Dalton, knee injury. Um, Tyrod Taylor, undisclosed amount of time. He'll be out. Um, I mean, which one of those, of those six injuries, which one's the biggest, in your opinion? I don't know. I'd say TJ Watt, I think. Steelers need him more than ever. Yeah, heart and soul of that defense. He is. And, yeah, I don't know. It, it's tough to say. People get hurt every week. It's tough to, to tough to know how, how serious things are. But, I don't know, it's something football teams have been dealing with for millennia. Yeah, exactly. That That's true. I mean, T.J. Watt's not a guy you run out and replace, but Pittsburgh has always had that next guy up mentality, if I want to sound cliche. And... Uh, I don't. They they do a hell of a job drafting um, defensive guys and and uh, signing you know undrafted free agents and stuff like that because these guys you know you never hear of them and then all of a sudden an injury like this rolls around and you know they play three or four games and then all of a sudden it's like man this guy's good enough to start on this team yeah. so all of a sudden he's he's found himself a home right so um, 
I, I'm going to agree with you on that one. I'm going to say TJ Watt is probably the biggest injury. Um, I mean, sucks, especially since he just signed his contract and, you know, highest paid. Well, he's, I don't, is he the highest paid defensive player in the league? I don't know. He'd be he's, right up there anyway. I'm not too sure. If he's not. Um, unreal. Um, so it, it was a growing tweak. We'll see how bad it is. He never did come back in the game, though. He tweaked it, left, and never came back. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's move over to some rookie quarterbacks. Um, let, let's go through them one by one. Uh, so we kind of touched on Mac Jones, um, 186 yards. and No touchdowns, no picks, pretty pedestrian day. Uh, Bill's got him in that game manager role, and I, I predict he'll keep him there for uh for a while um mac jones thoughts is uh, are they approaching this the right way with him i don't know i think the pagers that are a, a place where they don't have much choice because or i don't know who they have i think brian hoyer is a backup if i'm not mistaken yeah, and they've is. tried that already and it didn't work yeah so yeah i don't know i think the the whole mantra of having your rookie quarterback sit for a year is gone. Yeah. Which I guess kind of makes sense, but I don't know. If I'm a coach, I, I still like the idea of just sitting your rookie quarterback for a year. Aaron, it's worked with Aaron. I would say Aaron Rodgers has it worked with him, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. He's That's, had a pretty decent career so far. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just it's tough to... And, I mean, he didn't need to be good in this game, right? Mm -hmm. um, so he could hand the ball off, throw check downs, whatever, right? And, and they still won. So I, I think Bill's going to coach it, you know, according to how the game goes. And, and nobody does that better than Belichick. Nobody adjusts better. So mm -hmm. uh, on the other side of the ball in that game, Zach Wilson, four picks. Um, and his post-game presser, uh, some reporter asked him if he was seeing ghosts like, <laughs> like Darnold was the last time. <clears throat> he played the Pats, and, and Zach kind of laughed it off. Um, four picks, that's a rough day for a rook, but it happens. Yeah, it's going to happen. Right? It just, that's the way it goes. Yep. Um, not a whole bunch of talent to work with if you're Zach Wilson either. No, no. Not, not an ideal situation there. No. no. But I don't know what the, <laughs> I don't know what the Jets don't even have anything to give up to go get a receiver. That's a problem, yeah. Unless they want to get part with their draft picks which i doubt yeah that seems kind of counterintuitive right so um <clears throat> trey lance didn't take a snap in that 49ers game not that i seen anyway um so nothing to report on there um who else we got uh yeah so with that andy dalton injury justin fields came in uh went six to ten for 60 yards and a pick i mean i'd say at this point that has to uh that has to uh, signal the start of the Justin Fields era? Perhaps. I think, I, I don't know what Dalton's deal was. He was hurt, but I, I looked at some website, and I don't think it's too serious. And I think Matt Nagy said that they're going to stick with Andy Dalton. Oh, okay. That's yeah, what right. I saw just about <clears throat> an hour ago. That's, so That's Matt Nagy for you. Yeah, yeah maybe, I think he maybe he still believes in the, the sit-in sitting the rookie quarterback deal maybe he's also one of in my opinion the worst coaches in the nfl but such is life um, what was nick Foles's deal was he even i don't know we talked about that last week and he was on the sideline but he wasn't dressed yeah I um so i i don't know if he's hurt or or what the story is but yeah. i mean this is kind of i would say the uh the opportunity fields is looking for um is there even a team out there who would go after Nick Foles right now? Houston. Houston, perhaps. Maybe. Miami, maybe, if two was hurt for a bit. Possibly. I don't even know who the backup is there. I don't know either. To be honest with you. That was probably the only two. Washington's going to roll with Heineke. He looked good. Yeah. So... I mean, Teddy, see what how Teddy does in Denver, but I don't think they'll go away from him. No, not while they're winning. I think those are the only two: Houston, Miami, maybe. Yeah. So I don't know what they'd give up for. What would the Bears want in return for Nick Foles? 
I don't know, he's got a big contract. They might just like to get it off their books. I think he's a ninety million dollar guy. Yeah. So that's a tough one to swallow for a third string quarterback. It sure is. Yeah, yeah. And your first stringer next making, to impossible, I'd or, say. Yeah, your first stringer's probably making three million, and your second stringer's making eight, and your third stringer's making fifteen. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, the, my only fear with Fields is uh, Nagy's not going to set him up to succeed. Um, I the I just hate the Bears' offense. They just there's no flow to it. Um, they even, just can't. They can always. They just can't seem to. Well, I shouldn't say that. With Jake Cutler, they had a boatload of weapons with Matt Forte and Brandon yeah. Marshall, and who else did they have? They had a couple other receivers. Mm-hmm. There. All Sean Jeffrey was yeah. there. Yeah. So they've had some. They've had some talent, but absolutely, that's they also have. ten years ago already. But it seems like nobody can waste talent like the Bears either. Um, True. I just. I don't know. Um, I, I like Fields, and I'm pulling for him, but uh, I, I think Nagy's going to be his biggest roadblock, and, and I think Fields is going to have to run the ball, um, show what he can do, and uh, maybe that'll open him up to some deep plays. But, I mean, you feel for a guy like an Allen Robinson who, you know, is, is a perennial, I'm not going to say perennial all-star, but he, he could be, right, in this league. Yeah. But being in Chicago... I mean, that's where receivers and quarterbacks go to die, it seems. Nobody ever has a good career there, and, and uh, <clears throat> not through the air. Um, no. Montgomery's good. I like him. But, uh, yeah, I'm the just The Bears are a... going to now? No, they won oh, they won. Week. They... Yeah, they beat the Bengals. They beat the Bengals, that's yeah. right. They didn't cover the spread, though. It was three and a half. So. Um, regardless, yeah. Who else do we have for rookie QBs out there? Can we touch on all of them? Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about Trevor. Um, it's going to be a long season for Trevor, I yeah. think. And he's he's not exactly uh, he's not making it any shorter. I don't think. Um, no, Denver's not even that great of a team, and he wasn't. They were never in that game. And he was. Yeah, it, it didn't go well. Why'd you bet on the Jags? I don't know. I thought I don't really like the Broncos. I thought Robinson could carry him to a win. That's probably the first time I've ever bet on the Broncos. I hate him too, but no. I don't know. I think. Yeah, I don't know. He's gonna. Trevor's gonna have some growing pains. Yes, yeah, has to be expected. That's that's pretty apparent. Yeah, he's throwing uh, five picks already in two games. So yeah. Um, well, even going back to Tom Brady, where did he do his first? He, I'm sure he sat. I think he sat a couple of years before he started. Yeah, yeah, behind Bledsoe. Yeah. But then once he got in there, he didn't let up. He didn't leave. No. So. And they, uh, they even got. Yeah. Is Trevor even twenty? Yeah, he's twenty. He's got to be twenty-one or twenty-two. Yeah. Was he at Clemson for four years? I don't know. I think he was. Yeah. Part yeah, of me thinks be. he was. So he's twenty-one, right? Yeah. But yeah, I, uh, how old was I when I graduated? Grade twelve. Eighteen. Well, he's probably 22. Yeah, 21, 22, or turning 22 this year or whatever. But yeah. I don't know. Not looking good for the uh, the uh, Trevor Lawrence era to, to start it out. But we're only two games in. Um, a lot of that's going to boil down to Urban Meyer and the coaching staff as well, right? You can't just put everything on this kid's shoulders. And the defense sucks. Um, every decent defensive player they get, they trade. Um, Jalen Ramsey, you know, I and all those guys want out because the rest of the team is is trash normally. So, but such is life. Um, it was a it was a great week in NFL though. Yeah, you know, just uh, yeah that that Chiefs Ravens game that was uh, contender for game of the year right away. So, yep. uh, I want to slide over to the uh, to the Jays. The Jays had a three game stand. I covered the Jays a fair bit on Friday when you weren't here, but um, they have uh, they had a three game stand against Minnesota this weekend. They took two or three, yep. and they're playing Tampa tonight. And they have a three game stand against Tampa, which is obviously huge. Um, and they are in a playoff spot right now, if I'm not mistaken. The Jays, yes, they are by half a game, <laughs> one game by one game. Yeah, the Sox are ahead of them by one game. Sorry, they're but the Yank they're a game and a half ahead of the Yanks. 
They are not. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I just checked tonight. I don't know what happened in that Jays Rays game that that was happening, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Red Sox slid in there. That AL East, obviously, looking strong. Yeah. Um, three of the four teams are in contention, and then you got Baltimore, who I believe is the worst team in the majors this year. Um, thoughts on the Jays? They got a three-game stand against the Rays here. Then they got a four-game stand against the Twins again, and then they close out their season against the Yanks. Um, they're going to get in? Yeah, I don't know. They got a bunch of young legs. The Yankees are a little bit older, I think. Red Sox are – I'm not too – I know Red Sox have had some – has had some turnover the last couple of years. I'm not even too sure what their lineup looks like, but I don't know. Pitchers, pitchers are throwing well. Yeah, I don't know. I hope they get in. It'll be I think it'll be fun for everybody if we get some Jays postseason baseball. I agree. Fun. On Friday, I said if you uh, if you see a Jays game on the TV, kick it on. Do yourself a favor. I mean, that that's a young team. They're exciting. And it's um, almost like playoffs already. I think it's starting to feel that way, especially with how tight that wild card race is. Yeah. Um, and I'm uh, sure that they probably play the Yankees or Red Sox. They play the Yanks up. to close their season. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fun. Three or four game stands. So. That'll be for the last playoff or wild card, probably. Yeah, I would imagine unless Boston goes on a on a losing streak here. But Lots of things can still happen. That's true. Yeah, they got we'll ten see. or eleven games left. So yeah. Um, AL MVP. Who do you like? I just thought today Salvador Perez, the catcher for Kansas City, has forty six home runs this year. Oh really? He just broke the single season record for catchers. Wow. He okay. broke, broke Johnny Bench's 45 <laughs> home run record. That's impressive. I didn't even, I, I didn't even know. He did it silently. It's yeah, Kansas, he did. Kansas City bad this year? Yeah, I think they're bad this year. Yeah, yeah. so he's the one bright spot. Him, Motani, and Vladdy are tied, I think. Wow. Yeah. Wow, okay. Salvador's I mean, it, had a pretty good career. It'd be hard to give him the MVP if they don't make the playoffs. So, yeah. I mean, you look at uh, Otani or uh, uh, Vladdy. I mean, Vladdy's had a lot to do with the Jays' success. The Angels of course, aren't getting right? in. They're not going to get in. So, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I think you got to give it to Otani just based on what he's done this year. His dual threat. Yeah. Yep. That, that's something we've never seen. Yep. Um, dude's unreal. So. Um, yeah, I just wanted your uh, your take on the Jays and and if you thought they were going to get in and and if you had to because there's no real it's only well the top three are already locked in yep then they go four and five playoff yep. for the wild card so it's going to be Red Sox Yanks or Jays yep that's what it's, two of those guys are going to get in for, yep yeah we'll see game That'll and a fun. half game and a half they got a, a little bit of a cushion. Um, but even that being said, if if they do clinch that second spot, they got to go to Boston, right? So, yeah. um, that's a tough place to play and win, of course. Um, but I'm pulling for them. If if you had to put five hundred dollars down today, Jays in or out, which which way are you going? They're a game and a half up right now yeah. over the Yankees. Yeah. I don't know how the Yankees don't get in. They're just too good. Jays will miss. Five hundred dollars. I'm saying Yankees, Red Sox get in. Okay, good enough. That's all I wanted. I've learned to bet with my head, not my heart. <laughs> <laughs> that is a valuable piece of advice. Don't bet with this. <laughs> bet with this. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, what do we got here? Five minutes left or so. I just wanted to touch on uh, the Wheatland League here quick. Um, I did come live to you guys from there for a little bit in the first half but um holy rosary raiders thumped the comp barons 56 to 7 yep um there was not one aspect of this game that the comp was better than holy rosary um from kicking to coaching to line play to tackling um i it was a surprise i would say um i it's a you always expect a good game, but uh, the Raiders came ready to play and they they looked really good. Um, <clears throat> and then in unrelated action, St. Paul beat Wainwright twenty nine nothing, and Cole Lake beat Bonneville nineteen to six, which I would say is also a surprise. Cole Lake's not 
known to be that strong normally. Um, so yeah. I'll have to look at the standings. I'm not sure where is Holy sit in the standings right now. That was season opener for everyone. Oh, it's the first so, game. Yeah, didn't yeah. even realize. So clearly, yeah. so they're in first place. <laughs> they are in first place. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. Um, yeah, it's uh, and we are off to Cold Lake this weekend. So. Um, it'll be it'll be interesting. We'll we'll see what happens, but they they looked good, real good. Um, anything else you want to touch on? Did we breeze over anything? That no, I don't think so. No. I think I think it's we should just kind of enjoy the, what the Jays are doing right now. I agree. I said in uh, Friday show when you weren't here, I said we we got a ball team to be proud of again, mm-hmm. which is kind of nice because we've had a five year hiatus from that. Um, yeah. You know, 16 was kind of the last time they they were serious contenders, and uh, yeah. and I <clears throat> I hope you lose your $500 in that imaginary bet. I hope the Jays make it. Um, I don't know, young team like that. Yeah. Nerves might get to them here at the end of the season. You know, knowing it's that tight. But hey, being young like that too, you don't know any better sometimes. Yeah. So it could go either way. Um, yeah. National League. Who do you like out of the National League? I don't know. Giants are looking good. Kind of caught out of nowhere, eh? I don't know. The Dodgers are still so good. Yeah. Mookie's playing unreal. Yeah. Just a, the guy can do everything. Class act, too. Did you see uh, <clears throat> Cincinnati? They were playing the Reds, and uh, some Cincinnati rookie hit his first home run ever. So uh, Mookie went to the fence, talked to the fan that had the ball. And uh, said he'd trade him a bat for that ball back. So he ran him out a bat, got the ball back, and threw it in the dugout for Cincinnati. So I thought that was pretty classy of the guy. Um, yeah. So do you like Dodgers? Or I, like, I like the Dodgers, yeah. 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 They, they got, it's pretty hard not to. There's no weaknesses in that lineup. No. No, they are. Just uh, whoever's pitching against them is just like, you're in for a long three hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no no breaks. Kershaw's still there, isn't he? Kershaw's there. He still might be healthy. Hurt. Him, Scherzer, Darius, Bauer, I think, is coming back. Jeez. They'll, be, they'll be coming around the mountain. That's quite a lineup. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a scary lineup. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll be interesting. But uh, that being said, I, I don't think I have anything else to cover off. I think, I think that's... Uh, I'm pretty sure Green Bay is going to win that Monday nighter. They were up 34-17 when we started, yeah. I believe. So, I don't know if there's going to be much to talk about on Wednesday with that game. But uh, I'm sure we'll we'll find a bunch to talk about because the Jays play three days in a row here. So, yeah, yeah. All right, maybe man. maybe we'll have to mix in some CFL. Maybe I did touch. Oh, I did touch on that Ryder Argo game um, on Friday that was played in, in Regina, and the. Uh, I'm sure everybody already knows that the Riders won, but uh, that defense looked good against the Argos. Um, so you never know what you're going to get out of those Riders week to week. No. They're now 4-2. and two. They must have a share of first place in the West. Be close. I'm not sure. I don't I know what Calgary okay. did. But. Before I bring up the CFL, I should maybe research the <laughs> CFL. <laughs> I had to do a little research in myself. Oh, I, I don't We're watch this part of <laughs> I don't watch a lot of it, but uh, yeah, the Riders did win. So uh, that being said, I uh, I think that's all we got. That's that's our allotted time. That's an hour already gone. So yeah. On that note, everybody have yourself a wonderful Monday evening. Reed, stay safe out there working. Yeah, we'll yeah. we'll find something to talk about on Wednesday. Yeah, we'll be back Wednesday. But on that note, have a beautiful evening, and we're out. That was all right. Was Better than our last one, I think. I still, yeah, it's tough to, I gotta watch.